Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel, Dance Music Tutorials. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Akai's Professional LPD-8. Uh, a viewer recently asked me how it was possible to set up the controls on the Akai LPD-8 to basically control uh, like one of the virtual instruments within Logic Pro 9. Um, so we're going to do that real quick. Um, basically, I've inserted a blank track. I've assigned a sound from the EXS-24. And I've added a couple um, inserts over here, a stereo delay and a bit crusher. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with setting up the, um, the control surface here to manipulate the sound. So here's my sound, what it sounds like. <laughs> thing I'm going to do is go to Logic Pro, top of the menu, <clears throat> go down to Preferences, Control Surfaces, and Learn Assignments. This window will automatically pop open. So basically just click on whatever knob you want to learn. I want to learn the cutoff, so I'm going to click on it. Immediately it now knows that um, I've selected for the parameter the, the EXS24 filter cutoff. Um, and then down here, it doesn't know yet what input message. Uh, it says no message received. All I need to do now is basically either press a pad on my Akai LPD-8 or spin a knob. I'm going to select K6 and spin a knob. Immediately you'll notice there's a message that pops open in the back. It says assignment learned. To learn another assignment, simply click on the desired parameter and operate another control. To finish learning assignments, click the learn mode. So if I click the learn mode right here, it'll stop recording any um, anything I want to do over here. So, But I want you to see over here, I'm spinning the knob right now on the Akai LPD-8, and you can see the knob twisting over here. The cutoff is moving up and down as I spin it, right? So uh, another thing I want you guys to pay attention to, as I'm spinning this down here, you notice that it says no, no input down here, right? Um, which is... Um, basically because it's telling uh, the MIDI inputs coming from the LPD-8 and not from the sequencer anymore. So um, if you were to try to record these knob movements I'm doing right now, you wouldn't be able to because there's something else you need to do, and I'm going to show you what that is. So let's go ahead and close this out because we're done with it. Um, go back over here, and next thing you want to do is right here where it says uh, EXS24 down below, off, go to Latch. Go ahead and um, we'll record something now. Okay, so we'll start my sequencer. So now I'm, I'm actually playing back the signals being sent to the LPD-8, uh, which is now controlling the um, the filter cutoff there. So every time I play it back, as long as I have latch on, click latch. It should stop. Um, LPD-8, I want you to go ahead and control the filter cutoff. There it goes. All right, so um, that's just a quick video on how you set up the um, LPD-8 to control uh, different knobs on the um, on any instrument. Um, you know, you can even do it in the uh, Nexus 2, for example, which I can show you right here. Um, let me open it up. So there's a Nexus 2, and I can control these knobs here as well. So right here, you can see the cutoff is moving, and I don't think I have anything, any other controls set up right now. But you can you can see that I'm controlling it here. Um, so anyway, if I play this back here, let me go ahead and take the solo off of this. So I'm going to do 
latch. I'm going to say record. Every time you load your project up now, 